Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great, fantastic day. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be replaying with the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division Palette. Now, you guys know this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, which sadly did get a lot of negative reviews all over the internet. Um, but I've replayed around with this palette countless times and I've had no issues with it and I really really love this palette so it's really nice to reach deep into my collection and replay around with this palette so I'm going to show you guys how I created this green halo eye look so if you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to link is in the description bar below so if you guys want to know how I created this eye look using the revolution reloaded iconic division palette just keep watching all right guys let's replay with the revolution iconic division palette this is a really nice palette it's a definite dupe this one yeah so this one is a dupe for the anastasia beverly hills subculture palette and we all know that that eyeshadow palette um went very viral and it had a lot of negative reviews <laughs> But this eyeshadow palette, I've had no issues with this palette. I've played around with it countless times. Ooh. <laughs> the only eyeshadows I have issue with is this one and this one. There's not much pigment to them at all. But the rest of the colours are absolutely fine. So what I was thinking was to create um, something I did quite a long time ago. It was like this old green halo eye I used with Soph's palette. I'll pop a picture of it on here. Um, yeah not the greatest eyeshadow look i've done <laughs> that was like a while back i'd done that so i feel like maybe i just want to sort of recreate it a little bit like give it my own twist or something so the first shade i'm going to go in with is this one this very dark green color i'm just going to take a superdrug studio brush they are very powdery but they do pack on some pigment i've already primed my lids I'm just going to start pressing this green eyeshadow just around the crease area. I'm now going to take this orangey colour here, so this orange matte colour. Just going to grab my old B concealer brush and I start doing like a gradient on the lid. So I'm going to bring this colour just a bit higher and start blending out the green colour now make sure we repack that green on as well so we don't lose it it does look patchy guys but trust me when you pack it on and you blend it it actually blends perfectly fine okay so when i've added them and blended them to how i want them i've had to go back and forward for that so once i'm done with that I'm then just going to grab the the colour right next to it, which is this yellow mustard colour, just on a, another fluffy brush, like a nice blending brush. I'm going to blend this on top. You can go back in and re-add colours if you want to, if you feel like they've faded a bit, which I'm probably going to do with the orange, to be honest with you. Just going to go back in a bit more of that orange colour. Just going to add it so we don't lose it. Then I'm just going to go in with a blending brush. It's an essence blending brush. Just going to make sure the yellow, the edge is just nicely soft. Blended and soft. Okay, I'm going to start doing the halo in the centre. I'm not going to use concealer though. I'm going to use this... Um, as the base for the center this is so pretty it's by kiko it's a crushed cream eyeshadow in number five i don't know if you can get this anymore but any sort of um cream eyeshadow will be perfect a shimmery one will be absolutely fine as long as it's a light color it'll work just fine um but i'm gonna grab this just on a flat brush start pressing at the center oh my gosh are you kidding me it is so beautiful the reason why I'm not using concealer is because um, I want the centre to be really sparkly but also I can put another shimmer on top of it as well because I'm planning to put another shimmer on top of it. 
if you don't have a sparkly eyeshadow, like just use concealer if you don't have like a sparkly cream eyeshadow. Okay guys, so I've just applied the eyeshadow to the lid. I apologize if you can hear any noise. My neighbor's got his music on quite loud upstairs. So I do apologize if you can hear anything in the background. Okay, so I've just done that on the lid. So now I wanna apply obviously the darkness. I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow. <clears throat> nearly lost my voice here this eyeshadow here it's from urban decay it's zodiac it's this absolutely beautiful actually i'll bring it closer so you can see it better it's this gorgeous color here from urban decay it's this sort of like green but black sparkle at the same time and i really want to pop those on i want to run and pop this color on the edges here the camera doesn't really do it much justice but it's a very beautiful color and i'm pretty much just going to use the same brush i used for the cream eyeshadow because you know it's just a shimmer on a shimmer just gonna grab that and i'm just gonna start applying this just on the outer edge and the inner on the inner corner it's so stunning oh it's yeah it's really pretty Okay, so that's the lids done. I'm just going to add a liquid eyeliner now. So this one here, it's by Clinique. It's the Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. So I'm just going to very carefully now create a wing with this eye look. Okay, guys, this is the best I could do with the eyeliner. You know, it's one of those things where you add it and then it keeps growing and growing and growing. And then you're like, oh, how am I going to fix this? And then you keep correcting it. And yeah, I did want the wings uh, to be thin, but kind of not this long. So uh, this is what we've got going on. So I'm just going to leave the wings as they are. At least it kind of lifts my eyes a bit. But yeah, kind of very long thin lines we've got going on today okay so i'm gonna finish off my eyes so just gonna do the lower lash line just gonna take this uh mint melt uh no budge eyeshadow stick by elf this is in mint for you so i'm gonna pop this uh just in the waterline now I'm just going to go back in with that dark green eyeshadow, the first one we used. I'm just going to take the same brush I used for the orange, so I've just covered that. And I'm just going to run this under the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab this colour here. So I know it's not very pigmented, but it's just for that little hint of bright sparkle. Just going to whoa, use my finger and just apply that in the inner corner. Yeah, it's not too pigmented, but it just adds that little tiny more extra bright sparkle just to help brighten everything up. And then I'm just going to take my blendy brush and just add a tiny little bit to um, the brow bone as well. In fact, I might just use my finger actually. There you go, that's a bit better. Okie dokie. Right, just got to add some falsies and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, my lash glue is still drying a little bit. But these inner corners here, they just don't want to stick today. <laughs> but this is it, guys. This is the eye look completed. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell as well so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a good day.